Hey, how's everyone doing? Hey, so about four years ago, I got uh, injured by some guys. I was given a fencing lesson. And while I was giving the fencing lesson, these guys were fencing another weapon behind me and they were fencing uncontrol uncontrolled fencing. And they took out my knees. And uh, that was four years ago. So I went to every doctor I could. They were like, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna need some knee surgeries. Uh, you're, you're basically, you know, you won't be the same fencer afterwards, but uh, you know, you'll be able to walk again. You'll be able to kind of, if you diet right, you'll keep your weight down. So, and uh, you know, I'm, for, I'm 48 years old now. And I was like, man, I got a lot more to go. I don't want to just be like, you know, this guy that can't fence or enjoy life and just be like super stagnant. So I started doing research. And I noticed after two years of doing massages, weightlifting, stretching, uh, foam rolling and all, there was another way to get my knees back in order. And so what I'm gonna do here over a, the course of a month or so is post little videos of exercises that I've, that I've been um, doing for about the last two years to get to bring my, my knees and my hamstrings and my glutes and my calf muscles, my quads, my VMO muscles, my hip flexors, everything to come back full circle to probably to where I was maybe 15 years ago, right? So it's amazing. So now I'm back to full fencing, having a freaking blast. First, first, tri first tip here this evening is walking backwards. Walking backwards is, uh, comes from, an Asi from Asian cultures. And you'll see a lot of um, people from um, Asian cultures that would, a lot of the older generation that walk backwards. And some of the research I did showed that uh, Asian cultures, they're, as far as knee surgeries compared to the US, far less, far less, like over 90% less knee surgeries than here in the US. And it's be all because of one thing, walking backwards. So then I looked out, so if, if you're looking to get involved and try to walk backwards, it's the first step in this whole series of really just getting your body in shape. And the walking backwards will help with uh, your knees, it'll help with your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. Um, the only thing you really gotta do is be a little mindful, right? So you don't hit anything and find a nice quiet spot where you know you're not gonna have a bunch of traffic that could potentially uh, hurt you. So I say, I started at 10 minutes a day and now I'm up to 15 minutes a day. And I do it every day except for one day rest. And and I'll tell you, that's the first step in really getting your body back in shape to being able to do things athletically. And there's studies of people 80 years old, they use it on a lot of people that have knee surgeries or hip replacements in their 80s to get them back moving around and really have that increase their mobility. But I can tell you, you can also start running backwards. And this is great because it'll build everything up. So anyways, I just want, I'm gonna put this together for y'all. Hope it helps because it really helped me come back and, and get back into good fencing shape to be able to enjoy the sport and uh, yeah, that's it. So have a great day. Get those knees and get the rest of your body in shape. Treat it right. Be careful. Have a good time.